Hey, good morning, guys. Jerry here with my New York analysis for October the 10th, 2019. Let's see what we've got going on today. Uh, overnight, we had uh, pound related. We had some weaker than expected pound uh, GDP numbers in the manufacturing production. Uh, we're going to see when I talk about this in the sentiment in a minute, but it didn't really move the pound. Uh, much at all, and that's because everybody's really Brexit focused right now. I mean, these data points may come into play in hindsight once the Brexit uh, deal is sorted out. But right now, you know, when this when negative data comes out like this, and it doesn't move uh, down very much. That tells you that exactly what the market's focused on. They're they're worried about Brexit right now. Um, Looking ahead, uh, we've got uh, U.S. CPI coming out in an hour, and that's uh, pretty much it data-wise for today. And keep that in mind, we're going to be talking about a trade uh, that I'm looking at here in just a minute regarding the dollar. Um, jumping over to zero hedge. Um, you can see on the dollar, it's softer across the board, following the FOMC minutes that we get a bit more polarization beyond the official divergent dissensions, uh, but a high recession risk statistical model. But really, all this is saying, Fed remains ready to respond to further threats of Fed uh, So, you know, basically, that means the Fed's ready to cut as they need to in response to a weakening economy or Trade impact, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute over on the over to the uh, sentiment on the page. Um, the we've seen some upside in the um, in the Aussie um, based upon some improving tone about the U.S. China trade talks. Um, the rest of these guys you know, we talked about a little bit or are not really nothing really worth mentioning. <clears throat> uh, there is an interesting comment here about, uh, like I said, Sterling remains prone to breaking Brexit headlines awaiting P. M. Johnson meeting with his Irish counterpart at midday. So there could be some news that might come out of that meeting that might uh, swing the pound. But, uh, so that would be more of a trading, uh, trading the squawk in uh, these things up rather than just kind of looking at trades right now. Um, Looney and Yen, subject to China trade news, congestion, not long swings, and risk sentiment. Uh, so, not, not really seeing much there. So, jumping over to looking at the cinema page here. What I'm looking at, look at the odds that we've got increasingly positive, there's increasingly positive tone regarding U.S. China trade talks, uh, for a bit of bullishness and, uh, a bit of bearishness on the dollar. Uh, right now the market, uh, the probability of a rate cut, uh, <laughs> uh probability of an October rate cut now stands at about 80%. Fed's ready to stay, uh, ready to act if they need to. Uh, so that's, I'm looking at a, an Aussie dollar long this morning. Um, so, jumping over here to the charts, and uh, we draw off a, a swing, dip swing here. Um, I like, I always like the 50% level if I can get in close to that because it gives me a, a decent uh, risk reward ratio, like if your stock goes down here, um, and you know, the price makes it back up to its highs, and mathematically that's a, that's a one to one. Um, and, and I also like this level right here because, um, we have, here's a little, look at where this yellow line is drawn. Here's a bit of a level. Here we have price came up and reacted strongly against this level. Price came down right through here at this level. Provided a little bit of uh, reaction. Uh, same here. 
So, and it's already reacted here, so if price were to come back down into this level, uh, I would be interested in, in looking at a long um, you know, in this area right in here. Now, we have the CPI data coming out in an hour, so you can see I've got my order placed way down here. That's not because I want to enter down here. I just got it pulled way down out of the way because if the new if the CPI data comes out and as a result of the data it drives price down into this level, I'm not interested in in taking the long end because uh, I'll be fighting that sentiment trying to work my way back up to these highs. I'd rather uh, not do that. I really just want the data to come out in line um, and price just you know, just as a the result of you know, there's going to be some should be some profit taking from this big this is a pretty big move. So there should be some profit taking uh, that happens for people that are long. So just let price kind of drift back down into these levels. And that's that's the kind of price I can I don't want to zoom down into this level uh, based on uh, data. So that's what I'm looking at this morning. Uh, I'm looking to, to go long around this yellow line right here. And um, stop will be down here, take profit up here. And I'll get this posted in the room. I'll be back with you guys shortly.